Everybody has a garden. A garden. A garden. Yeah. I couldn't imagine it mapping Mapton House and backyard. Back backyard. <laughs> <laughs> The finest backyard in Britain. <laughs> the finest backyard <laughs> yeah. in Britain. It isn't gas, it's a liquid. Why is it called it's gas? Because it's natural gas. But it's, it's natural not. gas. <laughs> it, it's liquid. Crosses. Knots and crosses. <laughs> Comment down below. Did you get that right? Yeah. Right? Spirits, because they get your spirit. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Right? I've been here too long. I've messed that one up. <laughs> I've written it down as my American word. Hi everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel, American Viscountess. I'm Julie Montague, the American Viscountess. And today, get ready because we are going to be doing a quiz. 25 British words and American words. So I'm gonna be saying the American word and you're gonna to try to guess the British word before Stephen and Claire guess it. But I wanted to just talk about my Sweater, AKA jumper. Jumper. Very smart. <laughs> there we go. Um, many of you have seen me on the CNN original series, Diana. I was on all six episodes and CNN kindly sent me um, this jumper that Diana wore several times. There we go, black sheep. And this was actually made um, by the same company that made Diana's jumper um, as well. So they sent it to me, so I thought I would wear this today because I kind of feel like I'm the black sheep right here <laughs> um, in England with Claire and Stephen. So for me, number one, and do a little pause in between before you say your answer so people yeah, have decide people a chance. chance yeah? yeah? Number one, when I play this with my children, it's called tic-tac-toe, but apparently it's not. If we have a picture, Clay, we'll yeah, put up a picture. We'll put a picture up. Now, from the picture, we know it straight away, but yeah, I wouldn't have never got it from the phrase. phrase. No. Right. It's, it's noughts and crosses. Yeah. Noughts and crosses. Not. So well, you say nought, obviously, yeah. you guys say zero. So it'd zero. be zeros zero and crosses. crosses. Zeros yeah, and, crosses. and crosses. We wouldn't even call it zeros and crosses. It's tic tac toe. Yeah. How many of you got, um, what is it? Noughts and crosses. Noughts and crosses. <laughs> Comment down below. Did you get that right? Okay, number two, a thumbnail. Yeah? So, yeah. a thumbnail. Again, Again we'll the put picture. a picture up. Yeah. 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 That's, for us, that's a drawing, a drawing pen. Drawing pen. A drawing pen. Okay. So, by the way, I still call it a thumbnail. You put it in with your thumb, but you, you can also th right. pin a drawing. A, a drawing pin. pen. Yeah, a drawing pen. pen. Yeah. I think we win on this, Americans. I like thumbnail. <laughs> there we go. Okay, number three. Um, and I do still call it this, but I kind of go back and forth. Dresser. What is a dresser? I know it's an item of furniture. It's an item of furniture. Um, yeah, we'd say a chest of drawers. But then we also have dresses as well. We do, for different what? things, yeah. Yeah. What? I would think you've what? got a few of them in Mapperton. See, yeah, I would have said a dresser was sort of like a chest of drawers that you can sit out with a mirror and you can put your makeup yeah. on and it's a dresser. Like a, like a, well, I'm not sure what they're called. I don't know. What we just call them a dresser. Yeah. You just put your clothes in the dresser. Yeah. But, but you, I don't think you would do makeup on them. Yeah. No. It would have a mirror. Yeah. Um, yeah. It would probably yeah. have a chest of drawers underneath it. But yeah. Chest of drawers. Chest yeah. of drawers yeah. right there. I know. I've had to learn that because oh, here at Mapperton, there are a lot of chest of drawers with mirrors on yeah. top of them. Dresses. Yeah, there dresses. There we go. <laughs> Dressers. Chest. Yes. Oh my goodness. So <laughs> confusing, right? <laughs> Okay, number four. Now I'm going to say because I'm from sh Chicago, and when I grew up, we would we would always call them um, tennis shoes, and they were just any type of, but well, they were tennis shoes. So, but I know that on the East Coast and other parts of America call them sneakers, but we never uh, grow okay. growing up. I never said the word sneakers ever, ever, ever. We would say tennis shoes. So comment down below if you use sneakers or tennis shoes if you're in America. But, but you, we don't use either. No, no, no the trainers. 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 And why are they called trainers? What are you, um, are you training for It's something? a sport thing. A tennis? Like, but why are they called t tennis shoes? You yeah. wear them for tennis. It's, yeah. it's true. Train, it's true. Yeah, trainers. trainers. Yeah. 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 Trainers, tend, tend everybody. Them, trainers. And yeah. And if you do say tennis shoes over here, they actually think you're going to be playing tennis. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly. Thing. Okay, number five, drugstore. So like, obviously I would go to like CVS and Dwayne Reedy in New York, drugstore. Well, you'd also say pharmacy, pharmacy as well, wouldn't you? Yeah, pharmacy. yeah. Like a chemist. But you call it a chemist, yeah, chemist. as well. Yeah. See, I would have said pharmacy then. Yeah, so Luke would say chemist. Either or, yeah. Mm, yeah. 
Luca said chemist. I think it's depend. Pharmacy or chemist? Did you get that right? But definitely not drugstore. No. Definitely not drugstore, no. No. unless you're with me. Okay, number six. We would just say, oh, can you go to the liquor store and pick up some beer or some wine or some not spirit, some hard alcohol? And you guys would say, this is a weird one actually for us. I don't think ours makes sense. Off what, license. Off license. Yeah. What does that mean? What does off that mean? license. What, I was gonna say, why are they called off licenses then? Well, you have to be you have to be licensed to sell alcohol liquor. Right. Well, I don't know why it's called an off license. No. But it's certainly not called a liquor store. And you don't call it you don't call it hard, you don't call it hard alcohol, do you? No. No. You no. Call no, no, it no. Spirits. Uh, yeah, spirits. Spirits. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Right. Spirits, because yeah. they get your spirits. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Right. So, and I have not switched over to this, everybody. I still say, when I'm low on gas, I need to fill up with gas at the gas station. See, this one, this one gets me gas. really annoyed. Really, really annoyed. <laughs> Should we say what it is? What is it? Over here. Come on, what do you, well, you don't fill up yours, because yours is diesel. Petrol or, or petrol. diesel. Yeah, petrol yeah. or petroleum. It's not petrol. gas, it petrol. isn't gas, it's a liquid. Why is it called it's gas? Because it's natural gas. But it's, it's natural gas. <laughs> it, it's liquid. Yeah, but it's natural gas. <laughs> it's natural gas. You have liquid and you have gas and you have solid. Those are three states of But then elements. you have, do you have gas stations? Because obviously we have petrol stations. Yeah, yeah. Luke's just walked in. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think, Luke? Gas or petrol? Gas. Yeah, it's or petrol. gas. It's not gas, it's liquid. It's a liquid gas, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah, liquefied natural gas. Oh, yes, yeah, <laughs> So would you say petrol or gas? Petrol. Diesel. <laughs> <laughs> That's no help. It's no help. Okay, number eight, flashlight. And I still do say flashlight. I had yeah. no idea what you guys called it for years. Yeah. It's, it's a torch. It's a torch. Yeah. It's a torch. It's a light that flashes a flashlight. I think we win on that. A torch is something that you light with fire. Okay, number nine. Everything in America is candy. Candy, 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 yeah. candy. Yeah. And you say, guess at anybody? People should get this one. Yeah. Sweets. Yeah. Sweet. Everything sweets. over here is a sweet. Do you want a sweet? Do you want a sweet? Here's some sweets. Sweet shop, sweet shop. Not a candy shop. No, no candy does not exist. It's all sweets. We well, say candied sweets occasionally for a certain type of sweets or candy. Right, so we've but, just yeah. shortened it. It probably was candied sweets back, way back in the day. And we but just... you, a chocolate bar would be candy, wouldn't it? Yeah, everything's yeah, candy. Chocolate bar. Yeah, chocolate bar. yeah. And then we do have a candy cane. A That's true. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That but maybe true. that came from America. Does anybody know oh, down maybe. below? Mm. I don't think it's ever been called anything different, has it? It must be an American, American Maybe. American Invention. Thing. Candy yeah. cane. Okay, number 10. I would say cilantro. And you would say? Horrible stuff. You <laughs> I know this. It. I don't. Like, I don't have a clue. Cilantro. Coriander. Coriander. I mean, oh, that is totally different. Yeah, it is. Completely different. Corey, do you like I've coriander? heard of cilantro. I, I don't like coriander. I like, I like Indian food. I like curries. But no, some no, people are really averse to it. Yeah. Yeah. Like it. Um, okay. 11. I mean, this is easy, but I still do call it a baked potato. I just need to know why you call it a... <laughs> uh, a jacket potato. Why? Because it's got a jacket. <laughs> it's got a jacket around it. Or a spud. Oh, yeah, a spud, yeah. It's yeah. A, spud. A, spud. a spud. But a jacket potato. Jacket but potato. we do baked yeah. potatoes. Yeah. But then nice I get why you would call it baked potato. Because it's baked. It's baked. Mm. But, but yeah. what would it be before it's been baked? Just a would potato. Would it just be okay, right. a potato? Okay, We still call it a jacket potato, even though it hasn't. You'd pick up jacket potatoes from a shop. That's right. Yeah. And still, and yeah. then bake it and still be. Yeah. And then there's baked. baking potatoes, which are yeah, they they're jacket? different types. Yeah, there's different so many ones. different types of potatoes and over here. That's a whole other video. Edwards. There's just yeah. Go on. Yeah. Like, well, that's the only two I know. Those are the two best roast potatoes. But then you have roast like dinner. New, new potatoes, potatoes, new potatoes, salad yeah. potatoes yeah. that look the same as uh, a new Jersey potatoes. potatoes. There's so mm. many potatoes here. Red yeah. potato. Sweet yeah. Potato. Which I think has a special name. <laughs> They're all coming. There's a lot of potatoes here. Forrest Gump. Here we are. Okay, <laughs> number twelve, big one. Backyard. It is just not used in this country. I'm afraid. Backyard is not used. Everybody has. A garden. A garden. A garden. Yeah. I couldn't imagine it. Mapperton, Mapperton House and Backyard. backyard. <laughs> <laughs> the finest backyard in Britain. <laughs> the finest backyard yeah. in Britain. We've just won Historic Houses Backyard, backyard of, of the Year, year Award. No, yeah. Gardens of the Year Award. Um, okay, uh, number 13. If I'm uh, filling up a pitcher of water, it's a pitcher of water. 
Yeah, that's something that's that's it, coming over slowly, isn't is it? Is it? Slowly. Yeah, but, but it's it's, it's a, still a jug. Jug. Yeah, a jug. But would you say then a jug of beer or a pitcher of beer? Oh, if, have with, yeah, with oh. with drinks, it's a pitcher, yeah. isn't it? Now? But with water, it's yeah. a jug. See. But there a, you a go. jug is something that you you'd measure out for ingredients and that's something you wouldn't drink you wouldn't drink from a jug. But you guys <laughs> drink from a pitcher. <laughs> you drink from a pitcher. Yeah. Pitcher, pitcher. Yeah. But my husband does say fill up the jug of water. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and I say, okay, I'll fill up the pitcher. Okay, uh, number 14, obviously a closet. Do, I mean you guys will be shocked with it. this one. A, a you just um, don't have right. closets yeah. here. I mean you do, but you don't, if that makes sense. They're not as big. They're more freestanding. They're not kind of walk-in. Well, no. we do we do have walk-in. But you would wardrobes. call it a walk-in. Yeah, wardrobes. That's yeah. insane. Wardrobe. Yeah. So yeah. you can have the wardrobe, which is a piece of furniture that is. I get that that you would hang your clothes in. But we would say a walk-in closet, and they would say a walk-in wardrobe. wardrobe. Yeah. yeah. If you have a, do you have a freestanding wardrobe? Do you yeah. call that a closet? No, we would call that an armoire. A what? A what? A R, but I'm probably it's the French. It's a French. I'm sure it's A R M O I R E, an armoire. Never heard of that. No. <laughs> it's new to us. Armoire. Wardrobe. Right. Wardrobe. So the piece of energy would be an armoire, and wardrobe. then the. Oh my gosh, so confusing. See? Yeah. Okay, number wardrobe, 15, wardrobe. and Stephen really likes cars, so he's probably going to know this, but it's a bumper thing around your car that protects you. When you get into accidents or you hit anything, is a bumper. It is over here. Are we? Do, are we doing the American one now? No. Yeah, there you go. It's confusing. I thought it was a bumper. Or is it? Oh, <gasps> it's a bumper. It is yeah. a bumper. Oh my gosh. That's <laughs> confusing. Yeah. Oh you my call gosh. It a I fender. Fender. Yeah. fender yeah. I've been. I've been here too long. I've messed that <laughs> one up. I've written it down as my American word. I actually thought for a second, for a hot second. That you guys called it fenders. No. We call no. it fenders. No. Sorry, everybody in America. That's why I've been here too long. Fenders I've are obviously... a type of guitar. But oh, Americans, you do call it fenders. Yeah. Yeah. Bumpers. Okay, I've been here too yeah. long. Front it's probably bumper, because rear bumper. Probably because called. two of my children yeah. drive, and so they'll always refer to them as bumpers. The things on the side as well, we call them wings, and I think they're also called, called fenders. Fenders. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got fenders at the side, fenders at the front. Front. So if, if you run a, a car fender. repair company in America, then you're asking for a fender. You have to re a fender, front fender. Yeah. yeah. Fender. Bumper. And bumper. The front of ours is a bonnet. No, that's the. <gasps> that's bit my that next one. Oh, that's your next one. Oh, okay. Oops. Sorry. So do you know what we you call got an it? Extra one. Oh, what do we call it? Put the picture up so there's a bonnet, in, but I definitely never call it a bonnet. That goes on babies' heads. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's a. It's a. You could say in America, it's a hood. Hood. Oh, okay. It's a hood. But I guess a hood can come on. They both, they're yeah, both yeah, but, basically yeah. Yeah, forms of hats. You could put a hood on a baby if you wanted you to. You could put a hood that's yeah. connected to your jacket and yeah. you put yeah. your hood on. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right, 17. 17, mailman, everybody. I know you're going to be like, what? Of course it's called a mailman. And you have your mailbox. But in America, we don't go this to, is, yeah, I think we go to, yeah. I think we it's go to the such, post such office a British, in America. British tradition. But everything's called a mailman yeah. or a, a mailbox. Yeah. Post, post office. Post office. Post, post, the postman. royal post. Man or post person. Yeah. Postman, postman Pat. Postman Pat. Very, Very popular. TV series. Yep. Not mailman Pat. And it's that wouldn't work so well. Yeah. 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 It's, so it's post. Everything's post here. Post, 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 post. Can you put this in the post for me? Can you post this for me? Whereas yeah. in America yeah. we'd say, can yeah. you put it in the mail for me? Can you mail this for me? I need to go to the post office because I have to mail things. Mm. That's so what I would say in America. Post office. Yeah, it's I know. Office. Why isn't on yeah. a mail office? Yeah. I don't know. Well, the, the, I, does anybody know? Comment down below. The, it was always like like the NHS, which we looked at in the previous video, and, and the, the post office is such a, a well known British thing that everything's kind of spiraled out from that. So the post boxes, the red, the famous red yep. post boxes, um, they're called post boxes, not mailboxes. The postman. Yeah. Is in um, red. Is it all, all his, red? Everything's with red. With his trolley, is red. The post the post van. Yeah, red, royal, that, royal, red. Mail, royal yeah. mail, royal mail. But yeah. you do call it the royal mail though, don't you? Yes, yeah. that's confusing. Oh. Um, 18, we're getting there. Remember there's 25. How are you doing so far? Comment down below. How are you doing taking this test? How many have you gotten right out of the first 17? Shrimp, everything in America that we eat is a shrimp. Shrimp cocktail, I'll have a shrimp oh, I've got curry. It from that, yeah. Yeah. Shrimp, shrimp cocktail. Mm. And you say? Prawns. A prawn. Yeah. 
But then yeah. is that not because a shrimp and a prawn is a different thing? I think you're right. Because aren't, wouldn't you, like the little things, little ones are called shrimps over here and prawns yeah. are much bigger over mm, here, yeah. is that right? Mm. We just categorize But then you can get a giant shrimp. shrimp. So is that, is that a prawn or? I think giant no, I, shrimp is a prawn. I don't know. Yeah. I don't even get started on scampi. Because that's prawn, isn't it? But well, wrapped in bread. I don't know, you're talking to a vegetarian. Yeah. All right, there we go. I will tell you one example. When my youngest was visiting in America, America and he looked at the menu, and he and it was pictures, right? So it was like the name, but then they would have pictures, obviously, in one of those big menus. And he said to the um, uh, to the waiter in his very English accent, "I'll have the prawn." He pointed to the picture. <laughs> "I'll have the prawn cocktail." <laughs> and the man looked at him and he said it in such a British way. And he looked at, him, "Excuse me." Three times later, I had to intervene and say, "He would just like the shrimp, <laughs> the shrimp cocktail, yeah, right?" Prawn cocktail is what we have at Christmas. Yeah, yeah. it's a starter prawn cocktail. Yeah. yeah. Shrimp, prawn, shrimp it is. Okay, 19, this goes back to a car, but we would say open up the trunk and put your baggage, um, yeah. your luggage in there. Yeah. What For would us, you say? It is a, is it? a boot. boot. Oh, it's a boot. I forgot that. Yeah. Okay, number 20, we're at number 20. I still do say this today, I go back and forth, but sidewalk. I'll say, tell my children to get on the sidewalk. They look at me like, what? And then I have to be like, the pavement. Oh, I just Whoa, gave it away. Pavement. <gasps> it's the, the sidewalk. Oh, the sidewalk is, yeah, it is the pavement. It's and the then pavement. There's, there's a, a crosswalk or something, which is the the crossing. Yeah, which is the, the crosswalk. We don't yeah. have, which you call the zebra, well, crossing. zebra crossing. Zebra crossing. Pedestrian crossing. The zebra yeah. crossing. Because over here, it's not called it's a zebra. zebra. It's a zebra. You get yeah. pelican crossings you do. too, don't you? Yeah, and then you get puffin and you get all not sorts sure of things. We call it a crosswalk. Yeah. And it's just easier. a sidewalk. I'm with you on that one. It is a lot easier. Side. Yeah. It's it's the, you walk on the side. Side, yeah. Because the pavement could be in anything. Yeah. All yeah. right, 21, everybody. Waste paper basket or really just the garbage? Bin. A bin. Yeah. yeah. Bin. Put the bins out. Put the bins yeah. out. I say put the garbage out. Throw taking it in the, the waste, trash out. taking yeah, the trash yeah, out. Yeah, no, the yeah they say put everything for them. It's one word. Bin, bin. man. The bin man. Yeah. Yeah. Bin bag. Yeah. They bin say lorry. garbage lorry. bag. Bin oh, lorry. That's that, yeah. Bin oh. lorry. Bin bin lorry. Bin truck. Yeah, but we would call it a garbage yeah. truck. Yeah, there you go. It's called the bin garbage lorry. truck. Bin yeah. Yeah. The bin garbage truck. The garbage man's coming. The garbage truck's coming, and you say the bin man. Bin 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 bin. I go back and forth between that. Okay, twenty-two. I know many of you are gonna get this because this is. If you've been here before, elevator. Oh, a, yeah. A lift. lift. Yeah. A lift. But then do you call it do you call it an escalator? Yeah. yeah. Oh, it is yeah, the yeah. same. Yeah. No, yeah. an escalator is the thing that looks like stairs that move. Yeah. Yeah. But we and call them a, an escalator. Yeah, and then well, elevator we call lift. Right. right. So we do yeah. say escalator is the same, because I we say escalator in yeah. America, you say escalator. And then yeah. a lift is the thing. A lift is thing the thing that goes okay. up and down. Elevator lift. There you go. So if you ever come here and you ask somebody, where's the nearest elevator? Yeah. They might not know what you're talking about. Yeah. But we, we kind of know. Kind of know, yeah. I yeah, think. Kind of know. Kind of back to furniture. Number 23, uh, sort of, is we would say you have to set a table. Right? Mm. So we would say, can you guys set the table? Yeah. Set the table. Yeah. What do you say? Um, <laughs> I think it's the other way around again. No, I think it's, it's yeah, not. Yeah, no. I'd set the table. No, see, I would lay the table. <gasps> oh, okay. So I'm sure. So I'm sure. No, <laughs> I think it's set the table as American. So see, Comment down below. American. What That's, do you no, say? No, confused, yeah. no, I would definitely I, say set the table. No, because you, you lay the table, don't so you? So Luke would say lay the table. Oh, so Luke, I know my that. husband would say lay the table. Yeah. Set, so maybe it has Ooh, crossed over. Yeah, maybe, maybe it's maybe it's goes on either side of the Atlantic. We can say lay or set the table. Comment down below, which one do you use? I want to know more. because I don't know. Okay, number 24, Lieutenant. This one is just a different, and you guys are obviously- Oh, it's spelled exactly the same, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. and yeah. guess how they, I, it took me a long time to figure this one out. You'd never guess it from- When people from were looking at here. the word and the, the arrangement of the letters. Lieutenant over here is pronounced- Lieutenant. Where's the F? Left, where's the F? <laughs> Where is, Where the, is F? the F? Left tenant. It's, it's a weird one because it is spelled exactly the same. Unlike aluminium, you guys spell it aluminum. You spell it how it's, how it's pronounced. But yeah, left tenant. L-I-E-U, -E tenant. Yeah. Which, there's no F, but we say left tenant. 
Okay. I'm not sure where and then, that's come from. So yeah. weird. Yeah. Then last but not least, everybody. Okay. When we refer to a purse, America, we refer to, you know, the purse that has all of our things in it. Uh, yeah. And it has can have our wallet, it can have our car keys, it can have our our weekly planner in there, whatever. We want to have snacks in there. It's called a purse. But you guys call a purse. What what is your reference to a purse? Well, a purse is um it's what I, I we would see, call yeah, the female wallet, but yes. Yeah, a wallet. Yeah. A wallet. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And then the thing you're talking about would be a handbag. I, your exactly. Purse goes yeah. in your handbag. handbag. So can you imagine how confusing that is? The purse goes into the yeah. handbag. You're, you're putting yeah. snacks in your wallet. Right. And your I'm, daily planner in your wallet. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Whereas I would say the purse, uh, sorry, the wallet goes into my purse. And you're saying that the purse into goes into the handbag. handbag. So yeah. then what does a man what, what, what does a man put his money in? Because in here it's a well over here it's a wallet. It's a wallet. Yeah. Right. But so a, so a, you don't a, have a, a separate word for No, a man and a woman, wallet. same thing. The female and the man wallet is a wallet. <laughs> oh. So they it's differentiate actually, between yeah. Yeah. a man wallet is a wallet over here, but a female wallet is a purse. And that female wallet AKA the purse <laughs> goes into the handbag, which in America AKA would be the purse. The purse. Yeah. So I'm going to end on that very confusing note right there, everybody. Um, do let us know how you've done below, comment below. And again, let us know how many you got right. Let us know any other words that you find um, confusing. And um, we hope to see you again for one of these. Any other videos that you want us to make between sort of British versus America? Let us know down below. Huge thanks to Steven and to Claire and to all of you. Be sure to like this video, be sure to comment, and definitely be sure to subscribe. Thanks everybody.